I just installed this one on 2020 Toyota 4Runner uh, differential breather kit and I think that it's, I actually got it from Amazon 74 75 dollars and I think it's not worth it of this price this is the pipe so it's pretty long pipe came with these things uh, zip ties came and I think these are small we need a bigger one so that it's easier to plug plug over there and there was uh, this thing uh, it came with four of these and, uh, and yes yes four of these and this thing and two lockers um, stoppers from the other side so these are the this is not the exact size as the breather i just unplugged i just installed it so this is the one that on the differential uh, toyota differential uh, real differential it was hooked up over there so size is a little different but if you if you try it will go inside no need to put anything because it's already have a water sealing installed on it so no need to tie it all the way just half of the thing half of it is will be enough and this is the pipe when you plug it in it will go inside i'm trying my best to with one hand right and it's not going anywhere so if you push this thing it will come out here you go so here you go right so that's the mechanism of this and i figured out it's, it's pretty uh, airtight so nothing gonna go inside until you press this thing down so once you press it in it will pop out and they're giving you a pretty big big uh, um, pipe and when i i actually did a, a survey under the car and i figured out there's no proper way you can run this pipe all the way from the differential to up and you install over here under the hood because you have to go close to the the, the silencer the gas exhaust pipe and those are pretty hot and there's it's not a good idea that you can plug with the hot machine over here so that's why they plugged it um, um, that's why they, the Toyota did not run the pipe all of the over way so what I did I pull up the tire first and then I run the cable through this side, open all of the inside this hood, all of this panel. I remove the seat and I install it over here where the jack stand is. So I have a clip, a few clips I will share with you guys. And I figure out if you run this pipe all the way to the vehicle on the front, for example, this much pipe you want to use it. Trust me, if I push it air through my mouth, I cannot. It's very hard to throw the air on the other hand. And I suggest that don't do it. Don't run it this over there if you want to run. But what I figure out that this is not a joke. This is real thing. So I don't know why I did it because I saw some YouTube videos that water will go inside. If water will go inside in a differential, why Toyota will put this thing? No way. So I figure out this is pretty good. If you throw the air out, it will go up and it will throw the air out and when there's no air it will the head cap is weight and it will come down and lock it and if there's nothing it lock if there's no weight and nothing or nothing like same this way if the air is not going outside it's actually lock so it pull it pull it up and make a space and then it air goes out so mean that the differential throw the air out so mean the differential will throw uh, the the numb out right the moisture out from the from the oil but not gonna take it in anything so i think this is solid thing don't waste your money to put a differential uh, differential breather this is all marketing and this is all joke i did it because i got it finally uh, this is a good way to know your vehicle under the under your vehicle what is going on i removed the vehicle uh, to, uh, tire and uh, and then i I installed it but I think it's not worth it it's just waste of money to install $75 um, 74 75 dollars this ARB this much some marketing these are see these showing the old vehicles this is for this is Australian company this showing old vehicle old vehicle might be have some drama but it's not worth it to install these one this is just used that and um, yeah look so you can see my videos as well thank you bye bye